I really enjoyed the experience last year and I had great takeaways. And uh, this time I'm here to see and, and hear the word of God. That's why I spend uh, fellowship time with my fellow DLCC brothers and sisters. I signed up for this church camp so that I can spend more time with God because uh, I've been quite busy with my work recently so I just want to really uh, come and uh, spend the time to worship, praise and listen to His Word. As a first attendee, I decided to attend to church camp uh, to deepen my spiritual connection and, and meet new people who share my faith and grow in my understanding of religious teaching. Also, I wanted to experience um, fun and meaningful activities. What Pastor said, uh, to have personal encounter with the Lord and uh, also to make uh, new friends. I want to meet more brother and sister in this family and also of course to have some fun uh, in these four days. I expect to grow uh, spiritually uh, build relationship um, and learn about my faith and reflect personally as well. Uh, this year I would like to have a personal encounter with God. Swimming. Watching iPad. <laughs> Swimming? Yeah. Hey. Doing yeah. iPad yeah. in Sunday school. school. Uh, my favorite activity from church camp so far has been the fellowship. Like for example, playing werewolf together or even eating together with our friends and family. I think I really enjoy and treasure these moments uh, with my friends and family. Uh, of course, praise and worship and uh, listen to the word of God. But the other thing I, that the most impactful is testimony. Testimony from the pulpit and testimony when we mingle around during our makan time, you know. So uh, it kind of stir me to uh, so-called uh, to pursue God. Mm -hmm. So and that is what I desire to have you know, a deeper hunger for God. My favorite part of camp so far has been Pastor Margaret's sharing about I think the highlight of it was to not focus on your problems like everybody's facing true problems right in their lives and but you should focus on God because when you focus on God he can help you solve all your problems all your worries and all your anxieties or anything <laughs> I would say it's probably the late night games like uh, we played like, werewolf last night and uh, it was like, quite fun now. Yeah. So where did you all play the game at? Yeah, we played at uh, DJ's room. <laughs> it really crowded around the whole entire room. Yeah, so it's like really packed. And we also had snacks down there, like we ate kabudos and cheetos as well. Yeah. Yes, I have. Uh, I uh, made friends with Lynn, Vanessa, and Auntie Kiri. Uh, made friends with Yvonne, Michelle. Uh, Mayi, Lichu, yeah. Definitely yes, because at home we hardly talk. <laughs> He's in his own world and I'm in my own world. <laughs> yeah, so... No, basically because when we, <laughs> when we are at home, we come back from work and we have so many stuff to do. And we hardly have time to sit down and talk about certain things that we want yeah. to discuss. So, <clears throat> this church camp actually helps us spiritually and we can share things that we, we, we have no time to share. So I would definitely say that this church camp has brought us closer together. It's a, a, a break from our routine uh, yeah. work at home. Right? So definitely it has brought us together. Yes, definitely. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we want to come to the church camp. So that we can understand each other better and not just uh, hearing the sermon, by interacting with other people because it's, uh, it's by interacting with other people that we understand ourselves better how we interact also with other people and yeah, other people also share their life experiences how they get through uh, life struggles uh, 
especially the recent topic now is on evangelism and relying on the Holy Spirit. So, so far that has been very helpful yeah, for us to learn how to lean on the Holy Spirit and to let Holy Spirit take the control. <laughs> Definitely, yes. This is the time that uh, we can spend together and hear God's word uh, for our spiritual nourishment. And being with my wife and son is uh, really a blessing because uh, most of the time they are away from me physically. It's really a blessing to hear the word of God and to be with my husband. And I love him so much. <laughs> Sister Susie! Yes! Many times better than last year's. I think my favorite part of the school is definitely the desserts. The ice cream, barbecue rum. Uh, I think that I think that uh the best food here is definitely the uh, definitely the the pasta. It's the best food. The best it's banging, banging, banging. <laughs> Uh,今天的食物好不好吃? What did I learn? To be bold, to be to rely on God and not your understanding. Prayer is the most important key that needs to be done all the time. And I feel that you need to have compassion and respect when you are doing evangelism. To make us more like Jesus Christ, He works in the believer by renewing our mind to be like the mind of Christ. He does this by convincing us of sin and leading us to repentance. The teaching is very really good. Teach me a good lesson to let me know uh, more understand the power of the Holy Spirit. So when we reach out people, it's not depend ourselves. We need to depend on God. And many times we worry about how we share Christ to people. So we think about our weak point. So. From today, I will know no more thing about my problem. How big? I will tell the problem. How big is my God? Because I know it's a lot with me. No one can stand before Him. And when the Lord stay in, you go what happen? Praise the Lord. Uh, for me, one thing that stood out and something that I uh, particularly enjoyed was Reverend Vernon Falls. Uh, stories and anecdotes of things that happened to him and things that he experienced uh, and the ways he saw the power of God and that kind of inspired me to be uh, a witness to other people after this church camp to my friends and to my relatives that don't know Christ yeah um, I think one thing that stood out to me from the sessions were that as servants of God we are all evangelists and we are brought together to spread the word of God Good evening, pastors, fellow campers. I am Susie Lee. I want to share with you that I almost cannot make it to this church camp, but a miracle happened. Two of my family members was tested COVID positive recently. Then on Monday night, on Monday, 10 of June, I felt a flu coming up. And I was also tested positive. I felt sad as I was looking forward to this camp. 
to come to this camp. But before I did the test, I, I was talking to God. I was declaring His word. I was talking. I was telling him that he he could he can heal people suffering from cancer. So COVID is just a simple matter to him. And by His stripes I am healed. In the name of Jesus, COVID must bow, and I am have no right over my body. So I, I then I also recall recently, Pastor shared with, that his son had drive his car to camp. And halfway to camp, his car runs out of petrol and stopped. Then he called out and asked, Where is the God of my father? By faith, the car moved and he reached the next destination, the petrol station. I also imitated and called out and asked, Where is the God of my pastor? And I proceeded to do the test and, con- and was confirmed positive. But I felt calm upon the results because I was believing God for a miracle to happen. On the next day, after my dinner, I was taking, I was resting. And then I suddenly decided to do a test, the art test again to check. And the result was negative. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is impossible. I was tested positive on Monday night. And on Tuesday night, I was totally clear of COVID, healed of COVID. I praise and thank the Lord for forevermore. Indeed, God is our promise keeper and miracle worker. I would say something like this. God is here, so have no fear. Let me tell you what that is. It's good news. Ain't it good for your soul? The real truth. Ooh, that the world needs to know. And I just had to tell you, cause I think we could do some good news. Oh, I know it can get hard sometimes. Living in the present sense. But let me tell your friend, take heart, cause this ain't where the story ends. No, no, we just gotta lift our eyes and give them what they're made to see. It's our hope above the God of love who's standing with you and me. That's good. Let's talk about what's true. Let's talk about good news. Let's talk about his love and how we overcome. Let's talk about what's true. Let's talk about good news.